Hi, this is Travis Shaw coming to you again with the next video in our Veterans Day series. Uh, I'm here in the Crooked Run Valley, um, kind of near the border between Fauquier County and Clark County, and I'm joined with my good friend, military historian James Taub. James, good to have you with me today. Great to be here. Um, so in our last video, we talked about the War of 1812, kind of this more forgotten conflict in early American history. But this stop, we're actually going to take it back a generation, and we're going to talk a little bit about the Revolutionary War and one of my favorite local Revolutionary War heroes. Tell me about John Ashby. John Ashby is a really interesting guy. There are at pivotal points in all of these battles. At Harlem Heights, uh, the major Major Leach, who's from Dumfries, is killed, uh, leading these rifle, these three rifle companies, alongside soldiers from uh, other Virginia regiments and Maryland regiments. Um, again, very, very prominent in places like White Plains and Brandywine, probably their most famous stand as they're behind the church wall at uh, the Birmingham Meeting House. But then again, at, at uh, Germantown, they're present, and as well as at Monmouth, where they're just a great little Monmouth town. So they're at all of these early major battles of the Revolutionary War that are just absolutely fascinating to study. Right, and of course one of the most famous members of the regiment is uh, James Monroe, who of course goes on to become president and later on will actually settle down just up the road a ways in Loudoun County. So like you said, deep, deep local roots. Um, and I'm glad you mentioned the Battle of Brandywine because that battle is going to play a large part in how John Ashby and other veterans of the 3rd Virginia are going to be remembered after the war. Uh, in the 1820s, when the Marquis de Lafayette returns to the United States on his triumphant kind of return tour to the young nation, uh, he is going to come here to Fauquier County, and he's specifically going to come to Warrington, where he will address the people of Fauquier County, and he actually gives a toast to the old members of the 3rd Virginia Regiment, whom he had fought alongside at Brandywine. And according to one newspaper report, he actually called out asking for John Ashby, wondering where John Ashby was, that he'd love to see him again, because when Lafayette is wounded at Brandywine, you know, according to his recollection, Ashby was there by his side. Uh, unfortunately for Lafayette, uh, Ashby had actually been dead for several years by that point, by the time he returns. Uh, but it just goes to show how strong that legacy was uh, with the Ashbys. Now, nowadays, you know, when people hear the name Ashby in military history, they tend to think of John Ashby's grandson, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Turner Ashby, for uh, many people who studied the Civil War, was a famous early war Confederate cavalryman who operated extensively in the Shenandoah Valley. Um, and 
So, you, but you get that with a lot of the officers of the Third Virginia. Their names are common to us for those of us who study the American Civil War in this area, because so many of the, those names play a part later on. Their grandsons, their great grandsons, their sons in many cases. In the Third Virginia, you have a Lee, you have a Washington, as you said, James Monroe is in there. The lieutenant colonel of the regiment is a Heath, who, whose relative will go on to great fame at Gettysburg. Um, so there are lots of sort of local connections yeah. throughout that that kind of epitomizes all Virginia's history. Yeah, of course, the commander of the third for a while was Thomas Marshall, who lived just over the hills ways at Oak Hill. His son, uh, John Marshall, the Supreme Court Justice. So um, very, very deep local connections. Um, so we're standing outside of the Ashby family graveyard. Um, this is located in the Crooked Run Valley just off of Route 17. Um, it is on private land, so it's a site that you can see from the road. We're standing alongside the road here, uh, but you can see there's an obelisk in the graveyard. That is a marker to John Ashby, um, to some of the descendants of the Ashby family. Um, several of his sons, going back to what we talked about, um, served in the War of 1812 in very, very prominent roles. Um, I believe it's four, four or five of his sons will all serve as officers during the War of 1812. So again, that deep connection to this area's military history. So thank you for joining me. Um, Jim's gonna be with me for the rest of the day. We're gonna be making a few more stops, kind of going through the military history, the stories of the veterans of the heritage area today. Thank you guys for joining us, and I hope you'll continue to follow along with us as we make this journey.